The city of Tallahassee has had a long history of being a good environmental steward with its electric utility and other endeavors that the city involves itself in. We've been on a program of reducing our carbon emissions by fuel switching to clean burning natural gas. And our next evolution is into the renewables. We've looked at biomass, we looked at alternative fuels. And one thing that's common across the country to everybody is sun. Solar is available to everybody. So we thought, let's take advantage of that availability. Let's pursue solar. The market timing was right with prices, which have come down, which means savings to our customers. And so we decided to enter into the solar market. We're standing here today on this property, which I believe is going to be an example for the rest of this state as to how it is the Sunshine State lives up to being the Sunshine State. And that's by investing in renewable energy and in solar energy to meet our future energy needs. That's right. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well, what happens when you look behind me, you've got a solar panel and you've got all this open land with not a lot of big trees. This is the perfect place to put a solar farm. Um, and what we're going to do is it enables our utility users to participate in solar energy. This is about Mother Nature. We have made the right choices in Tallahassee over the years as it comes to energy. Today, we take that quantum leap forward to embrace the fact that unless you use renewable energy, you're not being good to mom. This is a very exciting day in the city of Tallahassee. This puts us at the forefront, I think, of alternative energy. And so that's why it's important that we teach young people now uh, the importance of being good stewards of our environment. And that begins with reducing our carbon footprint in communities throughout the state and indeed our nation and the world. And we can do that by harnessing uh, the energy that comes from above. Construction typically is, is split up in different stages, most of which are overlapping uh, as time uh, moves forward. First is the site clearing, civil works, the site preparation. Once that is done, we start with the underground collection system, the cabling system, the electrical system. As that moves forward, we move into the, the structural part of the construction where we typically start building, but you see those structures where we mount the panels on. Panels are going to be mounted on a fixed tilted system, so it, the, the panels will always stay in the same tilt, 30 degrees. Once the, the mounting structures are being uh, set up, we're going to start mounting the panels. And once that is done, we start with the above the ground collection system and the electrical system where we bring in the AC side, uh, the inverters and the transformers and the, and the protection for, for the grid. Uh, protection system of the grid and once that is done we start doing the testing of everything a couple of weeks later we switch on the plan this is the first solar farm in Tallahassee Leon County and we're pretty excited about it We have been promising our public for years and years that we're going to diversify our energy sources. One of the main themes that we have to operate under is reliability and affordability. But the solar industry has just progressed incredibly over the past few years to the point where this farm is going to be able to offer that to the utility and to the citizens. I think that it is absolutely phenomenal that the city of Tallahassee would bring something so amazing to our community. As we continue to move forward with innovation and technology, this is just another step in making our community great. So I'm very pleased to say that right now, 
the entire output of farm number one that's not yet complete and will be completed soon has been subscribed to our customers. We have customers like Florida State University and Florida A&M University in a number of our local businesses and thousands of our local neighbors and residents have already signed up for fully the output of solar farm number one. While solar farm number one is full, we're not done yet. We're gonna move quickly into building solar farm number two. Get on the waiting list. We'll keep you up to date with our progress. Make sure you have a place in line. Go to talgovcom solar. Sign up today.